In the 1980s, the People's Republic of China, which had just gone through the decade-long cultural revolution, ushered in reforms and started opening up to the outside world. At that time, NGOs played little role in poverty alleviation in China. The Amity Foundation, founded in April 1985, was therefore one of China's earliest NGOs. The Foreign Teachers Project was not only Amity's first project, but also an attempt for China's NGOs to introduce foreign experience in a way suitable to China's national conditions. One can say that on the stage of Chinese society, Amity has established its own special role as an NGO with distinct Chinese characteristics. 从某种意义上说，爱德在中国社会事业的发展中起到了一个公益特区的作用，较之中国经济特区在改革开放中所发挥的作用有异曲同工之妙。The Foreign Teachers Project has become not only Amity's longest running project, but also one of its best known. As Amity's work has expanded, it has developed more and more projects to bridge China and the rest of the world. Another of Amity's early projects in eastern China, the Home of Hope Project, has been running for 13 years and has made a deep impact in the region. Because of an unprecedented flood in the summer of 1989, an unfortunate group of 648 children from 427 villages in 36 townships were infected with polio and paralysis of the lower limbs. Amity reached out a helping hand, secured funding from the government of Norway, and established the Polio Medical Rehabilitation Center, Amity's Pijo Home of Hope, which combined study assistance, rehabilitation, and daily living. Now Gu Gai has won the championship in table tennis in the Beijing Paralympic Games. Standing on the podium, she has become the focus of much attention and pride among millions of Chinese people. Some of her classmates from the Home of Hope have gone on to college and some of them have set up their own businesses. The Home of Hope helped them to achieve their distant dreams. And Amity's mission of helping people achieve their dreams goes on. Since 1995, Amity has provided help to nearly 2,000 polio-afflicted children and their families. Amity has offered services including medical rehabilitation, study assistance and family subsidies. Additionally, Amity has carried out microfinance projects to help families with polio-stricken children increase their income so that they can pull themselves out of poverty. The 1993 board meeting made a strategic decision to give priority to projects in the western part of China, which marked a milestone in Amity's history. Amity's scope also expanded from education to such areas as medical and health programs, social welfare, blindness prevention and special education, integrated rural development, ecological protection, and gender equality development. Resulting projects such as community-based rehabilitation, the Amity Grandmas Project, 
Project Torch, the Back to School Program, Microfinance, Village Health Workers Training, and many others have been well received by the people Amity serves. Li Chun Yen is a village health worker who received training from an Amity project. She lived in Moon Mountain in southeastern Guizhou Province, a forgotten village hidden deep in a mountainous area. The village has a population of more than 3,000 Miao people. Because of the long distance to town and the city's hospitals, and also because of high medical costs, it used to be that many villagers only had traditional healers to turn to for help and would often die from their illnesses. 18-year-old Li Chunyin was determined to become a village health worker, and in 1995 she walked into an Amity health worker training class and began her two-year study program. After graduation, Chun Yin started a modest village clinic in her house. However, though the village now had a health clinic, the villagers were still too poor to afford the medicine. After the first three years, the only income Chun Yin had to show for her efforts were four account books. Some of the debt in the account books was for medical fees, and some consisted of the costs for maintaining her clinic. 然后我没办法,我就在零四年的时候,我和我丈夫,我们俩就商量要出去打工嘛,然后到那天晚上他们才到我家来,有些拿着那个做爸爸的零钱,有些拿着鸡蛋,有些拿着鸭蛋,我也
the Amity Library Project and others. These projects have improved the education conditions in target areas and brought hope to the lives of children there. In 2003, Amity entered a new age of creativity. In rapid succession, Amity's Publicity and Resource Development Division, Research and Development Center, Social Service Center, and NGO Development Center were established. Amity expanded its work and project scope, which brought new vitality to the development of the foundation. The Amity Bakery is a social enterprise established by Amity Social Service Center. It serves as a professional training base for mentally challenged students. In the bakery, these adult students work side by side with volunteers to make bread and cakes, which helps them regain confidence, happiness, and a sense of accomplishment, allowing them to find the value of life. Good meal, Good. Good. In the summer of 2009, the mooncakes made by Amity Bakery were a hit and sold 6,000 boxes. The bakery's market sales have been expanded, providing more job opportunities for mentally challenged people and offering them a more meaningful and dignified life. As well as carrying out poverty alleviation projects, Amity also participates in relief and reconstruction work after natural disasters. For example, Amity quickly and effectively responded to the East China Flood in 1991, the Yangtze River Flood in 1998, the earthquakes in Wenchuan and Yushu in 2008 and 2010, and the 2010 landslides in Zhoushu in Gansu Province. You can see Amity staff everywhere they are needed. In order to provide victims in disaster areas with relief goods at the earliest time possible, Amity staff worked day and night on research and on purchasing and distribution of relief goods. They brought them medicine, blankets, water and food, and rushed to disaster areas in spite of bad weather and perilous mountain roads because they knew that they could bring hope and warmth to their brothers and sisters. As an NGO which has a religious background, Amity serves as a bridge between church and society, cooperating with local churches to start social service projects. By helping Chinese Christians participate in social development, Amity helps make the contributions of Chinese Christians to society more widely known. Over the past 25 years, the Amity Foundation has established friendly cooperation with about 300 organizations from more than 20 countries in North America, Europe, and Asia. Every year, Amity sends its staff to participate in various international activities. At the same time, it receives delegations, journalists, and other guests from all over the world to take part in project site visits. In the overall plan of China's public welfare causes, Amity pioneered a distinctly open and pluralistic role for itself, one which has not only absorbed foreign advanced concepts and project management methods, but also integrated huge public resources at home and abroad. Amity pulls together the power of volunteer efforts from at home and abroad, promoting a culture of public welfare and also facilitating frequent exchange and cooperation with overseas NGOs and churches, thus building bridges between China and other countries and people, between community needs and resources, and between society and churches. The Chinese name of Amity, Aida, means love and virtue and can be interpreted as love helps people while virtue can nurture benevolence and justice. A team of people hold on to their faith and work tirelessly spreading love. 120,000 children have gone back to school. 10,000 orphans have found new homes. 23,000 village health workers have received technical training. More than 700 dilapidated schools have been renovated. 500 village health clinics have been built in western China, and more than 10,000 physically challenged people have benefited from Amity's projects.
呃爱德星火工程项目的资助，毕业后当了一名中学老师。Amity has its roots in China and receives help and resources from all over the world. It is growing quickly in China, with its branches expanding to more than 31 provinces, cities, and autonomous regions. The scope of Amity's projects has also expanded from education to such fields as rural development, ecological protection, medicine and health, social welfare, blindness prevention and special education, orphan fostering, and disaster relief. The number of beneficiaries to date is approximately 10 million people from more than 20 minority groups. 爱德的事业是推广爱的事业，是公众参与的事业。我们需要海内外的朋友们更多的关注、支持和厚爱。